Oh my god, we're back again. Don't mind me, I'm like excited. My hands are red. I'm about to retwist my hair because, uh, fuck it. I kind of found a reason to, uh, which is I want to be beautiful. Oh shit, I forgot my bead. Hold on a minute. What am I like, board bead? Out of all my beads, only one of them came out, and I got like half my set in, and it's just like, yes, this is definitely staying here with beads. Eesh. I love it. They look so cute in my hair. I got like 24 pieces. Fucker's heavy, too. Like, it makes me concerned, but it's like, it's cool, because it works with my hair. Like, it's so nice. I thought I was going to go through a metal detector today, and like, that shit was going to go off, but nah, it's cool. It was cool. I was very happy for that fact, but still, um, it's kind of nice though, but it's like, it's hot, and I'm tired of sweating so much, so I'm just gonna go ahead and retwist my hair, because I literally have like, a loose sweater upon my head. Not fun, I could use that. Semi sex teal. What is that? When planets or other astrological points are 30 degrees from each other, when this aspect occurs, celestial bodies involved are in neighboring signs, which means there isn't a potential friendly connection. It could also be a real disaster if they don't, real disaster if they don't want to work together, so... Hmm. Possibly during a blood moon. That might go sextile. It goes from semi-sextile to sextile. And then we got Neptune. Solar eclipse, and it's trying somewhere. So look out for Neptune during a solar eclipse because it's going to try something. I don't know what. And there's going to be a Superman. A lot of moon shit. It's going to be in opposition. What's in the opposition of? Fucking full moon. But that's like the same thing. What the fuck? I guess planetary retrograde. I don't know. Cancer, Pisces, you might be fighting yourself or each other. Like, take your pick. Either way, I think it's, like, going to be interesting. But, there we go with the star dates. Everyone, this is an all sign read. We're going to see what comes up in this motherfucker. Oh my god, I got a story for y'all. But anyway, yeah. Uh, all signs read that this resonates with you. Cool, if not, you just boop your nose where it goes. Get the fuck out. Okay, now for my story, right? So look it, right? You remember how I was telling y'all, like, the other day, oh my god, that I had to yell at this one bitch because, like, her friend from another department yelled at my boss. So I went and found one of them. It was just like, we're just gonna make this square. You wanna yell at one of mine? I'm finding one of yours. Yesterday. Right? One of them who work over there comes over to me <laughs> begging for mercy. Like, literally, like, comes over, and just walks in on me. And it's just like, I know it's like, and these bitches have been watching me ever since I went off on the one. And it's just like, yeah. You're lucky my boss told me to shut my mouth or else I'd be right over there. You know, like, Vedic, I'd be a Sagittarius. I have no problem. <laughs> I have no problem being niggerish in my DNA after all, but still, you know, like, I, I, I'm the type of black that doesn't let the microwave ding at the end. Like, that's, that's how I am. Not noise in my house, but still. Came over asking me, you know, King of Pentacles. Uh, we don't have beef, right? I've never heard anyone talk about you. I've never talked about you. I was just like, that's not what I was pissed about. I don't give a damn if, if, if people punch me in the face and call me nigger one at a time. Like, I wouldn't give a shit. I told you not to make people cry. This bitch so confused and she and, and, and like it, it, like at first i thought i was off but then the other person who was in there with me turned around like an npc it was straight up like okay so what the fuck was that and i was like i know i don't know what the fuck just happened for uh, the for pentacles or first situation got king of pentacles and someone feels like the foundation is fucked up for them i don't know if it's regards to what they got in comparison to him or how this is reflecting just yet because i'm telling the story right and then the wants and wishes is <clears throat> for someone to be too distracted or not be able to see the distraction what the fuck 
Some will wish that someone else is too young-minded, too blind to see what's dangling in front of them, so they will continue forward like a, a, like a venomous wolf. I don't know any wolves that are venomous, but it, uh, today's the day, motherfucker, I reckon. But yeah, like, they came over, and like, me and my coworker were both sitting there like, what the fuck just happened? I was like, I think she was sucking my dick. I've never had anyone do that before. Like, is this why men like their dick suck so much? Is it, it, it like, is someone, like, bait, it, like, at, like, trying to get on your good side? The equivalent of dick sucking men? Let me know. Because I felt really empowered after that. Like, like I was looking down on the bitch, like, eh. But I had to check my ego, because it's like, I'm not here for that. <clears throat> but thank you for making me feel that way. But it, but it, but it was just one of those things, like, mmm. Process of elimination or some shit. Okay, obstacles and challenges. A ten of bowls reverse. I guess I want to make sure the King of Pentacles doesn't get their wish fulfillment. There's who the fuck's this? Here's rejections. There's no commitment here, not from the other person's side. Uh, it starts out in this person is starving. Maybe that's our problem. And the vibe check. Mmm, they're too scared to wiggle their butt to, for the toy, huh? But yeah, it was just one of those weird things. It's just like, did this person just come here basically begging me for mercy with me not going off on a motherfucker? Because, like, I didn't even think I was that intimidating. I mean, I guess I can be. I am a Capricorn. But at the same time, I was just like, oh my god, times I gotta tell you, I don't give a fuck what you say about me before you get through your head. One of those things. <laughs> Visco girl comes with the slushy to be like when it got in the college was from a horse. I don't know what the fuck what Why would someone call you over if uh they're just gonna come up with Oh, is this what this is? I didn't even mean to. We might be going with the energy I was, I'm talking about, but like whatever, like we're we're going with it. We're already here. Anyway. Someone might someone might be a Visco girl and it might come up with excuses for why they did some dumb shit. Oh, what is this? Pose button. Oh, well that just doubles the energy. It's like they, they don't want to move. Are they thinking? Are they thinking extremely hard? Once again, I wouldn't have gone to college if it wasn't from a horse. That's what the Visco girl said, right? And she takes take a drink with her because she's got a story for you. Because a uh, motherfucker knows a lot of bitches. Who knows a lot of bitches? Someone knows a lot of bitches. Most likely got he with the eyeballs and shit, right? Bugs on my nuts, they say. But they dropped the base. And and then people realize that six flies and six rooms. What is this? Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. That's interesting. Imagine, okay, so that story I was telling about when it came to like these people, the other day, because I, I swear it, it that is the first time I've ever had anybody it come up trying to be cool with me like that. It's just like the fuck. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Like determined to make sure that they don't get shit from me. That's the thing. Like damn, the rest of them. This person wanted to save themselves, so I kind of couldn't even be mad about it. Cause it's just like, well, at least you're looking out for yourself in this regard. That's fine, but you're over there, and I don't know what the fuck you actually do. You know? <laughs> but it, but it seems like there's a little bit of a reflection in this read. So I guess we're going with whatever I, it was I was vibing with for a second. Cause I'm still like kind of amped up from that, but at the same time, it's like I need to calm the fuck down. But imagine someone's like at a standstill, and now all of a sudden, like, you know. Mmm! Better way to put this, right? <clears throat> they come begging for mercy, right? And it's too late. That could be a scenario, too, I think. But it seems like it, it, someone's kind of invested with what's going on. So fat cat's gonna die. But he's been down here not having any food since May, so. So the King of Pentacles over here. Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Ooh. Something isn't happening over here. He's eating his own dish bowl and like there isn't an occult event happening. Okay. 
down below, someone's foundation is all fucked up. Could be because of a child, or maybe they're childish, or they're not just whatever. I don't know, but that's the situation. Wants and wishes. This other person, or that? No, hold on. What side are you on, bro? It's on this side. So whoever's on this side wants this side to not be able to see the toy that's pulling them back, and they want them to come forward. Probably to the dead cat. I don't know what the dead cats do. Is it like the... Like that baroness who like cuts people open to steal their youth or whatever. That was based on that. Uh, it, like it became like a thing for a movie too. What was it called? Dead Alive or something? Where these people play these video game characters that had to deal with the baron who drenched herself in virgin maiden's blood to make herself younger. There's a bit. I, I think American Horror Story did something similar to that too, but I don't know if it's the same. It might be the same. They, like, someone thinks that they're going to be more clever. Okay. Well, that's how you feel, bud. However, the obstacle and challenge is causing the person not to knock over the bowls as they wish. <clears throat> hmm. Someone doesn't want someone to have their happily ever after. Possibly even with a home. Is someone trying to fuck somebody out of a house? Because that'd be dumb. Hmm. Interesting. Fears and rejection of the Harafant Reverse. This person is committed to let the cat die. That's why he hasn't had food since fucking May. Yeah. Nasty, nasty woman. Someone isn't committed to a woman anymore. It could be a Taurus. So we could be dealing with the Taurus. He's just sick of their shit, too. So. How it starts, how it'll end. That would mean since May. That's a gift. You're lucky you have five pieces since May. That was a gift. Ooh. <clears throat> Straight up, is someone dealing with a vampire right here? Like, is someone dealing with a vampire? Like, what is this? It's like they're waiting because they don't know how to approach their prey. That's a first. I haven't read for one of them in a really long time. How interesting. What's this individual doing? Rather focused, slightly, but not very well enough to like. I don't know. It, it like. I didn't mean to draw that out with my scenario because I don't think this is the same for everybody. But you know, like it, 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 if we're here, we're fucking here. Hi, welcome on. The, don't touch nothing unless you fucking ask, Timmy. But you know, um, <coughs> yeah. Definitely similar scenarios. It's like a. Um, I feel like someone's mad that someone else is, like, fucking happy. Or at least a cat that gets the whole jar of treats by themselves. And they got four, but it's like it's not enough or something. This King of Pentacles in this special event not happening. He's just chilling, enjoying his time, right? What's wrong with this person? They got someone who's turned her back on them, too. We don't have to wait. We can go ahead and charge. But the other person isn't like, like it's like two people at least got involved in something. One's now turned her back, and the other one's like, "Well, fuck you, then. I'll just do it all by myself." That's what it feels like. Like at first they were enticing someone to play with them, but now they're just going in alone. I don't know how that's gonna work. Feelings and all. Feelings at all. Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy. Why is someone got their head all up in their... Who's all in their feelings? In a bucket at that. Kind of silly. Yeah, they're not using their intuition. It could be a Pisces. I'm laying that on top because that's how I was counting it. One more. Someone with Pisces in their chart, possibly. Someone who definitely isn't using their intuition or at least, like... <clears throat> Whoever this is probably doesn't know how to read the fucking room. Not the pe person on this side, but the person on that side. It's like they can't fucking... They, it, 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 like, imagine being stupid, but not knowing how stupid you actually are. Oh, I started this with the cats. I didn't even use the other ones. Oh, well. That's fine. I really don't give a fuck. I'll just use them later. Well, I probably won't, but it's okay. But someone isn't paying attention. It, like, whoever has the King of Pentacles energy, it could be an Earth sign, someone with Earth under chart. Doesn't really have to be, but it's like, um. <coughs> They're showing their nipples. They're so fucking happy. All six of them. 
just enjoying life as they grab that red ribbon on that wreath. Swinging away, Meryl. Swinging away. Someone, some, I don't know why this person wants to, why is someone going after someone while dipping all in their feelings about someone having the entire world in their hands? This is like Aquarius Capricorn energy, too. So someone could, deal with, could be dealing with those aspects. Strong Capricorn. Taurus is up here twice at least. Especially with that la with the lady card. That's like a femme energy. That's like empress energy. But it's reverse. So it's like it could be a really bitch bitch. Mitch bitch bitch. You know. Who goes to church too much or some shit. This person's like, I, I, I almost feel like someone's way too busy watching someone else. What is this? Four pentacles or treats reverse. Someone's a little bit childish because they only got four. I don't know why. They are not comfortable. Definitely could be dealing with a cancer or someone with cancer in their charge. Definitely with cancer. Also Pisces. All these cards are popping up, man. Definitely dealing with a Cancer or a Pisces, for sure. Focus, please. Cancer and Pisces, y'all might be feeling uncomfortable, and that's because you know some shit. Once again, and I think I said this in a reading previous, like the last reading or one before that, but like someone has somebody over here behind this individual while this other person, like someone wants to come up and bark to a person, but they're going to be really uncomfortable while they're trying to bark back. Meanwhile, Kitty's like, yeah, go ahead and come closer. Come closer. Come closer. But they don't see the other dog behind them, but the dog isn't close enough to get to him anyway. The cat would immediately turn around before the dog got to it. The dog up front's kind of fucked. The cat's just sitting there like, you can go ahead and keep screaming if you want. No one's going to help you. <laughs> mm. Me coming to fuck up your shit. Oh, okay. Okay. Just to make you... Uh, someone wants to make someone uncomfortable. Who the swords drive them nuts, make them upset. Maybe they're upset. I, what are they upset about? What the fuck are they upset What are they upset about? Actually, let me get these because I've already used so many. I might not get the entire answer. What are they fucking upset about? Oh, one turned over. Well, this is a young empress, the Nine of Pentacles. What, did they cut their own arms off to try to make themselves look better than you? I mean, people noticed. I mean, I, I, I mean, people noticed. Was, was someone expected to be a star or something? Or important? Y'all remember the movie Sucker Punch and how the ending fucked everyone up? Because they found out the bitch who kept saying she was the star turned out to be the star and the person who saved her was just meant to sacrifice themselves so the star can go on with their own story that we never fucking learn about. Total anime kind of thing. Like the main character isn't even the main character. They're just the ones doing this shit. The main character is the bitch to her all the fucking time. This is kind of what that like... It, okay, one more. Because I want to be sure. Someone thinks they're a star or trying to be a star or be uh, getting on their way to be whatever. Okay, why is this person in like. Okay, so someone has creativity but no potential? What is this, a basic Becky or something? Okay, one more. What else? Okay. They want to be a star. It seems like they're limited in their potential. Maybe they see that in you. Like, someone's beating the fuck out of three people. Oh, for go. I don't understand. Someone... If you are a person who is constantly dealing with a triple energy always coming after you, never the same people, but just the same energy, it like hops from person to person to person, might want to get that bat from God that Capricorn used last year because you might just fucking need it. Just uh, just a heads up because it might be useful. If you didn't know you had it, you have it now. Congratulations. Like, give it back when you're done. You choose the wiffle or the metal one. You can't have both. But that's what, that, that's what this kind of feels like. It's like someone's being followed by the same energy. Somehow that triple energy always seems to come up. And I'm just noticing the pattern now. It's just like it's always threes. Oh, 
always three. It's always at least three. They might get others in, but those others don't count. But it's always a major three. Two of them are close enough to uh, do something together. The third one's just stupid. It doesn't know what's going to happen. It's too loyal to the wrong folk, I reckon. Alright, so this person wants someone to be too distracted to play with their new toy and just walk right into something and it'll make them feel clever. Or someone thinks that they're naive. They want them to be bitchy. Or they're bit No, they're bitchy. They're, bi they're bitchy. Ooh, clean cups reverse. Because, like, say, if someone is too focused on the uh, objective than the treats. Here's some treats. Like, no, he's having too much fun. He's not even hungry right now. Like, someone was trying to poison someone's animal. Like, the animal, it, it, no, the animal doesn't eat just anything. <clears throat> Especially if that animal knows only to take from their owner. You know, that's the thing that, like, I like. I had a pet that I taught that. It's just like, don't be taking nothing from nobody else. People be poisoning people's animals and shit. With, like, meats and such. Just to kill them. Now, this person's... Like, whoever this is on the other side, they're very calculated. They know how to knock one thing over the row. It's like... <clears throat> it's like a movie scene where there's a whole bunch of fucking dudes coming up just to like snap or rob or like gang up on one person and the person's smart enough to go in an extremely narrow alley and and at first all these guys are like oh well he's stupid we could all still fit in here we'll just follow him in until they realize that this alley is way too narrow for them all to come up to this person at once so they all gotta fight him each one at a time yes this helps this person recoup and there are de there'll be dead bodies people are going to be tripping on, but at the same time, at least they have a better chance of survival because they get to take on people one at a time. Instead of, uh, all at once, which is what I feel like this other person might be doing. It's just like, I'm, I'm going to catch all, each of you on your own. No, 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 no. And if I can, I'll wait. Like, ooh, whoever this is might be acting like a predator a little bit. Just, like, they're like watching motherfuckers. Like, this person is extremely calculated. It's actually kind of scary. Like, I don't know if this is y'all, but, like, uh, this person kind of... Like, whoever's on this side with this earth... Like, they're kind of make me nervous. Not like they're... I don't think they're a bad person. But whoever has a steady King of Pentacles energy, like, top... Top motherfucker before you become the Emperor, because that's how I've always, like... I figured the cards because of the assembly when you originally get them before you shuffle and fuck them up. Fuckle them up. Fuckle them up. That's what we're going with. Fuckle them up. When you fuckle the cards, um... I always think that, like, the earth signs are, like, the, at the very end as the oldest, so I figured, oh, well, that must be what dude is before he becomes the emperor. So this is pretty stable energy. This is a pretty stable person. They're not doing anything, though. That's what gets to me. Like, you know, they're sitting on the fence. They look like they're sitting on the couch going crazy. This person looks like they're going to bother them, but they got the whole world. This person's sitting up here, chilling, and not really worried about the pentacles being thrown at them because, you know, they're dealing with their own, like, toys and shit. They got their own options. Like, they're still playing with the toy that's behind them. They're not paying attention. Like, this person is probably keeps throwing their treats, and that's why they only got four, and this person's eating out of a jar. It's like every time they throw something at a motherfucker, uh, all they're doing is feeding them. I know that, like, there was a reason I said something about that, like, but I said not to do anything, but it feels like this is just a person doing something, but not getting that same energy back, you know? It's like they were feeding on it before. But someone's just not doing anything. They're just like it, it's like someone's transmuting whatever's being sent their way. Someone might be panicking. <laughs> someone, might, someone might not be enjoying this uh, revelation of information. But what makes me nervous about this person is that it's almost like they're completely aware of what people are going to do. <clears throat> like they're observant. They're an observer. That's I, that's probably what this is, actually. 
Is this an observer? It might be someone who's very observant, or it is an observer. And it's just like, yeah, I'm watching all, each and every one of you motherfuckers, so I know exactly what kind of person you is, so I'm not surprised. It, it could be that kind of person. But they make me nervous, because it's just like... What do they watch, other than the fuck this is, you know? Now what is this? This one wants to be able to let their guard down from a fuck up? After they see someone, like, lose it, like, the treats, right? Oh, the fuck? <coughs> yeah, that's why they, whoever it is on this side, they're not stupid. They're, they're calculating how this person's gonna try to fuck. That's the issue. So this person wants this person distracted so they can't see what's going on. But this person's already calculating, oh, there's going to be a way they're going to fuck me up now. It, what the f- So this person already know? Are they- are, are, Like, are they- Like, I'm not going to say psychic, dude. Are, are they- Are they telepathic? Are they clairvoyant? It seems they're very aware of what this other person wants them to do. It's just like, I'm going to take my time. I know they're trying. Hi, baby. No? Sir, you really need to let me, like, get your stuff and shave you. Despite the fact I don't want to die, you need groomed. I still got that cut from the last time you fucking got me. Yeah. Was, no, it was the day before yesterday when I tried to get him. I was getting his back legs, and then next thing I know... I'm fucked up. It's just like, the fuck? <clears throat> so, obstacles and challenges, making sure someone's happily ever after is fucked up, especially in the house, the home. Um, mm -hmm. They want to really close doors on a person, but they're split stuck. Like, you get in the toilet. Okay, alright. <clears throat> Okay, so even if whoever this queer is were to block the other person's, like, stuff or whatever, or fuck up their good time, whoever they're trying to fuck with is going, like, like, like don't even fucking notice it. Oh, these are pretty flowers. Oh, yeah, 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 I'm gonna take down this pillar. Like, oh, this is so pretty calm. Die! Like, that's how they fucking feel. It's, 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 like, it's like, all emotional, all bitter. It's like... They're so mad. They are so in their feelings. Because you might be like, oh, I guess I lost that. Oh, well. Life goes on. Something better will come up. They're just like, I'll knock over this entire... Like, I don't know. Like, they're just very, very set. Got a book. Like, yeah, they scratched up the carpet, but they're really hoping they don't get thrown away. Some like someone could be really sneaky in this situation and find out that their bowls aren't getting filled the way they thought they would, or maybe they're sneaky ways of finally getting them the karma they get because it's just like we're just picking up these bowls and moving without you since you don't want to fucking leave. Stay stuck in the house, bitch. I hope someone finds you. You know, not happy. <clears throat> Did they piss off a Leo? I'm not sure. I'm terrified. What? <clears throat> so is this individual going to be horrified when they find out things? Is that what this person's hoping for? Because they already know that that's they, they like this person already knows it's coming. Like, like they, they already know someone's gonna do some shit. They already, they already know someone is up to something. That's what I'm kind of missing here. Cause it's like, okay, so the obstacle and challenge is making someone ruin themselves, but the person's already well aware that someone's gonna try to make them look bad. So it's like, how is that going to work? Probably, I don't know. Maybe they'll reveal something terrible about a person, but it's like. 
What the fuck is that gonna do? Like, like what? I, I don't understand. It's just like, why would you reveal something about someone just to... It doesn't make you look better than them. It makes you look a little desperate. Uh, a little bit too... Like, you're taking life a little bit too seriously, I should say. Um, you care too much. Nobody knows why you're going this hard. This is like the cold creep show art thing. Uh, in case you didn't know about that, creep show art was this chick, otherwise known as Shannon, who um, was an art YouTuber who I watched on occasion, but I actually preferred Emily Artful better because her art was actually interesting and like creep show arts was literally pictures of Emily. And that's because. Creep Show Art was stalking Emily for eight straight years. I was still doing so. And I would watch Emily Artful's videos where she was talking about someone like pretending to be her, stealing her artwork and all this shit. I'd be like, wow, this is terrible. No wonder she can't do very much. There it turns out to be the bitch I used to watch a lot. And it was like, what the fuck? And I, I even can't, got off the boat with her. It was just like, man, she's kind of boring. All she ever does is talk shit on people and moralize things that like no one really gives like everyone knows that it's morally wrong at some point like no one wants to hear that like make, crack a joke make somebody laugh and then it turns out she went on this whole thing on her youtube where she went on this complete i don't even know in her community tab talking about an amy which is just like well, who the fuck is amy but then it turned out that she had been stalking emily artful for eight fucking years right now, Emily, after this all came out, because it was a website that revealed it, and I know there are people who are just like, well, this website shouldn't have revealed people if they're supposed to be anonymous, but at the same time, it's just like, you know what, if someone's stalked for eight years, I think there's an exception to the rule. I think when someone's, like, past their history, their drug use, their, um, essays that happened to them while being with somebody, I, I, I think the whole anonymity should be solid rule can go out the window because, you know, I, it, that caused someone's life to be pretty traumatized if you ask me like like uh, like uh, fuck the morals of that point if someone's fucking with you for eight straight years it's time it's time even two years after two years if you can't leave a motherfucker alone there's something wrong with you legit there's something wrong with you and you need help but the crazy thing was about that whole thing was that uh Emily came out with her video being like, you know, this is actually what's happened, and I don't know everything, but this is what I'm going on from memory and little things, and she held some stuff back. The creep show art chick came back six months later with this, I don't even remember how long the video was. It was oh, at least a good hour and a half, if not two hours or more, of her showing people years and years and years of stuff from Emily Artful from the time she was like 12, 13, 14 until like maybe a little bit more re recent. Knowing details about her that nobody should know about. Even having emails and a accounts on different websites that have been deleted for so long that like Emily couldn't even get into those accounts anymore and didn't know how Cream Shard even had that information or even came to know that that was one of her accounts. Like, she had no idea. She even pointed it out in the second video, but that was the point. It was just like, Emily just came out and said her, what actually happened from her side. And then out of nowhere, Cream Shard just comes out and just starts blasting Emily for every sin I guess she thought that she committed, which was like, dude, you actually kept count. Worst part is she was married to the dude who was her ex-boyfriend who was helping stalking. And an even worse point, Miss Shannon Creepshow Art even went out of her way to make a video talking about how she was stalked for eight years by an Amy, which sounds really close to Emily, right? To the point where, like, Emily couldn't even talk about it. And she kind of knew, but she was kind of stuck in a place. But it wasn't for her getting revealed. Emily wouldn't have been able to breathe and be able to get what she needs done done. And vindicate herself and finally have the freedom to live her life but that's what this kind of reminds me of this is like someone could find out every fault in your entire life and if they present that to people to make you look bad or to make a point about who you are as a human being everyone's gonna be looking at this person all fucked up like how do you even know that how did you find that out? Who did you even talk to? What do you mean you followed them for 28 different websites from like 2013? 
Did it, were they even born around that time? You know, it's one of those things where you're really looking at a person who's just like, the fuck am I talking to? Where's this little psycho? Fears and rejections. Maybe there's no commitment because this person's a bitch, you know? Maybe they'd see you as a bitch. I don't know. Someone's a bitch here. It would be Taurus, Libra, even Aries. Oh, I've got a small book. They're all out of treats. They're all the treats. They are at crossroads with the butthole showing, but they really don't know what to do. And they always drowned in the sink, or at least they panic that way. They panic. Poor kitty cat. Whoa, 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 oh. Okay, that's charging me. Uh -huh. Does anyone else switch to T-Mobile and all of a sudden your phone doesn't want to fucking charge at a uh, period? Just wondering. Because I was forced. Ew, that slid out. I got the lovers here. What the fuck? Someone wants to be in love, but someone bit someone else for justice. So they want to let their... Like, what? Is someone... Fears of rejection? Is it, like, does someone have a crush on you and that's why they're doing terrible things? Are they hunting you down because they want to hump you down into the mattress? Do you understand what the fuck I'm saying? Like, what is this? Like a boy pulling a girl's hair? Who is this? Who is doing this? Who is this fucking dumb? Who is doing this? What? This is weird. They don't want someone to go for something either. It's just like, are you gonna go for it? No. They're not interested. What is this? They wouldn't let their mind... Someone wants a lover scenario so they can let their guard down, but it doesn't seem someone's going for it. Because they're trying to ease their own mind. So they want, what, so they want your attention or someone's attention? But you're too busy fixing your fucking trauma? Like, like what is it? What? Oh, is that it? Okay. Oh my, this individual. I'm just saying, they're not, like, they, like if they really want you, I, like, that would just weird, right? Because they're already doing, like, some crazy fuck shit to begin with. But if they really wanted you, why don't they just talk to you? Like a normal person to try to ruin your life, you know? Or maybe they're interested in somebody you want. Dun, dun, dun. Ooh, maybe that's the issue. What if they're fucking with someone you want? Maybe that maybe that's what it is. It could be, but they're hesitating for a reason. You know, that pause button. It's got them like sitting there like, uh because it's very apparent whoever they're actually fucking with, whether it's you, someone you want, someone you know, some, maybe you're doing it, I don't know, stop it if you are. Uh, but whatever it is, like, they have to quit it because it's not working. They don't understand why someone still has the world, why their head keeps getting stuck and shit, why their secrets are getting revealed that the only reason they're coming over scratching shit up on that same bullshit is to drive you nuts. Their whole purpose is to drive someone crazy. I don't know why they're trying to drive someone crazy. I didn't ask that. Someone did, though. But that's what they want to do. Because they got feelings either for you or someone you're dealing with. How does it start to end? This person got fed since May, but that was a gift. Right? But the, but the other person doesn't want what they're offering them. They're a little, ter they're a little terrified. They're a little myth. Is this a what the fuck? They're terrified of somebody. That gives someone a victory dance. Oh, they feel victorious with scaring someone, keeping somebody away. I, I reckon they think that they made someone uncomfortable. 
Because they didn't take the offer? Yeah, sure, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I, I, I'm totally not cool with this. My life is in shambles. Ugh, I, don't, I don't know what the fuck to do with myself. That, like, that's what you need to do. That's what you need to do with an individual, right? Because it's... Yeah. These people are fucking annoying. They're annoying the fuck out of me. Yeah, it's just a yeah, yeah, it's just like I don't know how to answer. <laughs> I don't know how to answer this. I'm so confused. There's so many options to choose. Oh uh, yeah, you hurt me. Oh, you're never trying to talk to me again. Don't do that. You're punishing me. And then back of your head is like, yes, fucking go. Run. Run as far as you can. Please don't ever speak to me again. Hurry. Like, I'll I'll say whatever I want as long as you get the fuck away from me. Like Relationship is this? Is this even a relationship? Because this does feel like someone's trying to fuck up someone's life. But only because they're not together? Like, is, or there's not a partnership? Or someone wants to reveal to you that, like, yeah, I, I, I've i been sending some shit your way. I've been talking nonsense about you. I've been gossiping about you. But I think you're really cute, man. Okay. Oh. Oh, okay. That is in no way romantic, but at least that gives me a, a somewhat of an explanation that's much more disturbing than what I realized, but it does it, it definitely helps with the anxiety. No, the anxiety is going away. It is heightened with a more denser sense of fear and what the fuckness, because Lord knows I was not trying. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why this is here. Yeah, it, it just boohoo some fucking more. Yeah, that, that makes sense. That makes sense. That makes sense. Demonstrate strength. When it comes to heartbreak. Oh no! Oh no! No, 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 I get it now. I get it now. I get it now. Someone recently broke up with someone and now they've decided they're going to invest in the in the wit in the craft of witches. In the craft of witches in order to get the person back. Or ruin their life if they don't come back. That's what this whole premise is. This is what happened when white girls decide that they're mad at their friends or boyfriends or whatever. It's just like, what the fuck, man. This reminds me of that one where that girl who was a, uh... What was that? It was like, um... It was like this girl, it was a story for a minute. Everyone was talking about it. I talked about it for a minute too, because it was like, why would you be fucking with Voodoo when you're not even, uh, when you're not in the right element? You know, like it was this young girl, and I guess she and her girlfriend broke up or whatever. And, and like at first she did Voodoo once to get her back in that work. And then she left again. So then she wanted to do Voodoo to kill her ex girlfriend or something or try to get her to bring her back. <clears throat> And she thought she had brought back, uh, Papa Legba. Which, mind you, American Horror Story was popular at that time. So people were kind of blaming that as well. But it, it, but, it, it, but it's a much more likely she, um... Summoned, you know, uh, Baron Samiti. And... You know, he's a stealer of women. A trickster. Nothing like Papa like Papa. So, she was found dead. And that was a lesson to a lot of people. Maybe you shouldn't be messing with things that don't belong to you. Nor should you be messing with things that are the same race, color, pretty much. This person mad at. Because, you know, it might take offense that you're taking something of theirs. And then looking at you like, why is this white bitch, like, trying to get us 
to fuck with this black bitch. No, we're not doing that. We had a whole revolution for this reason. No soup for you. I think someone's mad that their ex possibly is doing really good and they're just like, you know what? I need you to have a terrible life so you understand how terrible it is without me. You need me. And it's just like, bitch, this is probably why they love you in the first place because you do weird shit like this. You know, I've never understood that. Like, why would you use magic when you're in a relationship with someone? Like, don't you know that that shit doesn't work to begin with? You know, if you, I like, I like, just to make it clearer for people to understand, normally when you're in a relationship with somebody, the magic between you two protects each other, which includes from each other. You know, like if you're cat, like if someone were to cast magic on someone who loves them and you love them and all this shit, that could fuck everything up because you'd probably just get like shared custody of that shit, man. Like it doesn't matter if you're married or not, like it goes to both of you, not just one of you. Uh, or it nullifies it and it just cancels out because hey, hey, you're not supposed to do that. Like, that's a whole, like, uh, weird thing to do. Why would you cast on the person you're in a relationship with? Because then you're going to cast on you. Unless you're not really in a relationship with that person. And then that person's going to be able to tell. But. I don't know. I had an ex do that once. Like, they claimed they hexed them and they, it, like, it broke my one of my guides down while I was asleep and it was like one of those things that just immediately woke me up like my alarm didn't even go off I just opened my eyes and I was looking over it was just like what the fuck was that and you're just like well you went and hexed me and I was like what so then I went and hexed the bitch so I could figure out what the fuck she was talking about because it was just like what the fuck is she going on about why was she fucking with my people while I was sleeping because I didn't appreciate that one bit like it was one of those weird things where it was just like it was a snap motion. It was just like, what the fuck did you just do to my people? They didn't do anything to you. Why are you fucking with them? Why are you like why? And then that weirded me out because it's just like, okay, the only reason you would have to do that is if they were protecting me from something. If they had to, like like oh, were you trying to invade my dreams while I was asleep? You dirty dirty horror like you know it was very annoyed and it was just like they kept coming up with different conspiracies and shit. And it was just like, yeah, maybe I should hex you because you're starting, you're, you're, you're starting to make me feel a little bit nervous. Like I, I feel like you need to be put in the mirror box, put underground. But then again, I, I guess I should have known better because they were asking me for about a curse. No, they didn't ask a curse. I was just like, I just want to test what the fuck you could do. Why don't you go take an egg, read the purse you absolutely hate on it, and did you the worst thing ever? write their name on it and bury it in your backyard and they did that it turned out it was their ex which i thought was weird but it was a really good thing i didn't tell them to poke a hole in the egg either because that would have been bad which is like that's important right like if you're gonna so it's spell you gotta like give them a part of it to see what they're fucking gonna do with it right well this is about to die Anyway, um, that's the end of the read. I'll talk to you guys later. You be safe, stay suspicious, love your face. We'll finish this soon. Bye-bye.